Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Canon Rebel XSI DSLR camera as a webcam. And you can use this for YouTube or Twitch. Uh, specifically in this case, we're going to use it in OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to do that step by step. Okay, so first thing you need to do is have your DSLR camera. And this is the Canon Rebel XSI, if it's the one you have. If you have a different type of Canon camera, it should be fine. But the main thing we're going to be working around is this EOS Utility app. And I'm going to put this link down in the description. But this right here is your go-to thing. That's what you need for all this. And after you plug your camera into the computer, which I'll go ahead and turn mine on right now. After your camera is plugged into the computer, turn it on. And this window should pop up. This is the EOS Utility app. We're going to go to Camera Settings Remote Shooting. Right here. All right, so whenever you make it to this screen, what we're going to go to now is Live View Shoot, right here at the bottom. Click on that. And this right here is the live window. So you may be thinking, how are we going to use this as a webcam? How am I going to make this, make it where people can see me? Well, here's how we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and open OBS like we have it right now. So we're going to minimize this. We're going to go to OBS. All right, so once you make it here, don't worry about none of this stuff. This is for me. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Add, and then you want to go to Window Capture. So Window Capture, go ahead and name it. Uh, you could put Canon if it's your Canon camera you're using. And we don't really want this window. And the reason this one right here isn't popping up is because this window down here at the bottom, we have to leave this open just like this. Leave it open, and then just click off of it to where it's still open down there. We didn't minimize it. So then you want to go here, go back to your capture, double click, and then go here. Remote Live View Window. I'm trying to make this easy as possible for y'all. And we're going to get rid of that focus tool, don't worry. So once you get it here, click OK. So here's this. Now, obviously, this wouldn't look, even if we sized it down, this wouldn't look good in a video, a gaming video, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to press Alt, hold down Alt, and click on these drop-down arrows. That's going to crop the image. And you want to basically, don't worry about my green screen. I'm not worrying about chroma key right now. You want to just crop it to where it's just you. And this could be however you want it to be, right? You can flip it, you can right click, transform, flip horizontal, put it down here, you can put it at the top, just like that. So let's say we want to remove this focus tool, right? So we're going to go back to our camera. This is where you got to stick with me right here. This is where it gets a little complicated, but not really. Don't worry about depth of field and all that, just whichever one works best for you. You could also copy my camera settings right here if you need to. I got my ISO low, and I'm shooting in RAW. Make sure you put that to RAW, so that way your camera exposure doesn't flicker on and off. So we can minimize this. We just can't minimize that, because if we minimize that, see how it froze? I'm wiggling my head right now. So we need to keep this open so it's showing live view, then just click off of it. Okay, so to remove the focus tool, we're going to go here, go to Compose. This is the live view. Go to Compose open and this could be anything just go to like google or something find a photo a christmas tree whatever just a jpeg photo png photo it don't matter just get a picture off the internet find that picture and click on that picture right here when you open it so click on that picture it's going to put this over my picture right you can knock it down on the enlargement knock down the composite ratio and then click move see the square so we're going to grab this square and move it off the screen. Just click and drag it off. And here you go. Boom. And then you could even go to your Canon right here, right click, go to filters, go to color correction. And here you could make the contrast, you could actually adjust everything, make it saturated, whatever you want to do. You can make it low, which I kind of like going for an image like that. So there you have it. So hopefully that helped y'all out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. There we go.
But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope that it helped you because for the longest time I had to use my iPhone as a webcam and it just, it was a big inconvenience to me. So let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoy gaming videos and you like horror games, subscribe to my channel because that's usually what I do. I just figured I would post this video to help you guys out because it was a game changer for me. But all right, guys, I hope this helps somebody out there. Thank y'all so much for watching.